Hello. Hello. Let me see. In my chair, if you can see that house across the way, that's owned by the city. And um, I didn't get the newspaper today, but I oh, I almost knocked you over. I um, I checked the I checked it on the internet, but I don't have restriction to it. And um. Not going to <laughs> have enough bills. But anyway, um, I, but one of the articles, um, my friend, um, uh, Rob, he, he was like, I guess he read it today, so he's still reading the paper. He told me to look it up, and there was this, uh, I was, I don't know what I wrote, Landa Wel Welder. Anyway, she's talking about neglected property by property owners. Now, if you see that house right next to it with the yellow roof. That lady, she called for, for since like 2009, every month um, until she finally left last year, and then she's rented to own to these these people on the yellow house. And the one right next to it, she called the city on this guy. He was in a nursing home, you know, and she was saying he's a friend. I'm like, well, why don't you just call him? and have him, you know, mow. But he can't mow. He had a nurse home. I'm like, yeah, but, you know, he can make arrangements. She just rolled her eyes at me. She called the city. Finally, you know, a lot of times what happened is they they only mow, like, they, the city don't, it hasn't mowed their lot. They only mow, like, if somebody calls. You know what I'm saying? So the biggest neglect of, of the property is the city-owned property. Like, some of the city-owned HUD housing, um, or, um, there was one where they had to, um, evacuate the people because like like me I'm a homeowner and now my new neighbor that's the policeman that doesn't like me um um he uh he he they you know like uh he called and said for weeds you know <laughs> weeds and trash that's another thing I, I wish they would put their energy and more in training the the youth and um and themselves not to be you know the ones throwing all the trash out all the time it's like every lot you know that's the number one thing plastic bottles the city's very trashy um you know you can just go anyway but so they're talking about neglected property but my thing is i think they're 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 actually because i know from my own experience um and it's just other neighbors you know that um like this policeman, you know, since he called me, uh, you know, a, a crack hoe, I didn't know he was a policeman at the time. And if I did know he was a policeman, I will, I still thought I would have said, you rude ass bitch. Well, fuck you. You know, <laughs> you know, because, you know, I ain't never heard anybody say that to somebody. You know what I'm saying? If he thought out, you know, who can, you know, but they do have every, you know, it is very prevalent in this area. Almost everybody that, you know, graduated, probably the same time I did, that went to Mitchell High, they're all addicted to crack. There's a lot of crack addicted babies. But, um, I don't assume everybody's on crack. It's, to me, it's pretty obvious. And, anyway, when they said the guys up here talking about, uh, overgrown with weeds, right? With that address of that house over there. Thank God they don't use common sense, because it's all, the four houses, they're all on one fence. So, and then, like, since they sent it to, you know, it's a family property, so it's in, you know, uh, uh, avoiding, you know, it's in my name, my mom's name. So, but they spend, it's, with, I think would be respectful, or at least like, like they really want to get money, is if they would, you know, send this stuff to me and my mom, you know. Because, like, as soon as she gets, she's going to tell me anyway. And, um, so, um, or it'll get to me within probably, you know, 12 hours of, of, of shark getting it. But, um, so they find me. So that's what they do is, like, they'll keep finding you and finding because, like, you know, like, the, like, Miss, Miss Penny Scott, she didn't like me. Found out her son was, like, sick, I guess, with the package, and, um, so she wanted to take it out on somebody. I noticed that they do that a lot. It's sort of like that. The humans, the uh, what was it? Human behavior that they, I was, that course, uh, 
but I took um and st I'll stab for it and um I can't think of that professor's name so it's a ski anyway it's a little hard for me to remember it and I don't want to mess it up <laughs> but he they, when they he um he's about human behavior but he did a study on these baboons and the um the ones that they were hitting baboons, the 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 hierarchy really then, you know, like you know, like brute force. Um, like, you know, like to the to, to teach the you know, like when they you know, or or just to show their dominant. And um and like um they were very horrible, very very mean. Like the 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 head um one that, you know, like he had to have all the sex and everything, so any other like male come along he'd beat them up and then like the lower uh, male, it, they, he would turn and go and hit a female the female would go and hit their kids and you can sort of see that pattern here uh, uh, but you know there's a lot of hitting but with that comes a certain type of you know because we are mammals uh, if, 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 if we're nothing else we are mammals um, and it's really a great thing because that's um, we wouldn't have life on this planet if we, w you know, wasn't part of uh, the the whole spirit, um, uh, you know, from which you know we came. So that's in my mind. So you know, <laughs> so uh, you know, I don't have a problem with uh, being a, a mammal or being an animal because I, I, there's nothing wrong with it. But anyway, getting back to the property. Um, so finally he was in a nursing home and like she called for at least like like four years and I think like the um after two years he you know, I guess it was like, Oh well just let him have it because you know, they mowed like his his yard so much it's real real expensive. I think it's like five hundred dollars or something from the mow your yard. They do a real shitty job. You know. They they <laughs> they'll mow like over really your decorative plants because that's, that's why I don't really want them on my property and I keep forgetting that in such a, a, a very highly Christian uh, uh, oppressed uh, uh, double binding hypocrites that whoop their kids um, they're thinking I don't want them in the yard uh, not because they stump you know just stump on your you know your like like some like some of these plants is actually food. They stop over your food. They don't have no regard in it. And they kill like one city worker kills a yellow rose. You know, then replace it. Just looking at me like I'm retarded. So they do intentionally harm and damage. Um, and you and and I see it more in the community to where like um, there's so, like where, where people throw so much trash in all these lots. If they could spend more of their energy on educating and, uh, th themselves and their children and not so much worry about fixing everybody else because you can't fix everybody else but you can fix yourself and you know um, so now the city owns that house over there and um, I think the last time the city came out here I think they've been selling the last person they sold to or they sent some city guy out there I took that door off and didn't put it back so, but, now, my grass needs to get mowed, but it's not high. It's just I mow it once a month, so it's time. Look at that grass across the street, you know. And, like, you know, like this right here is mint, sort of like a, sort of a little lemony mint, but plant. You know what I'm saying? Some of this stuff is food. Sunflower seeds over there, there's going to be some, um, a cantaloupe. There's a tomato plant in that pile over there. I got my garlic out. So, I think these flowers are pretty. You know. So, that's what they tear down is your flowers and your food. That's what they call weeds. You know, they, they, they have gone so far away from who we really are. And, and they made a shame of it. But anyway... I th you know, I think they're making a grievous error. I think they're going doing the same thing Detroit did uh, to their citizens and not really nipping the problem in at the base, but um, uh, causing more problems and more harm. That's all. So you, you know, and if they let the private go because they don't care anymore, because I, 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 there's houses over here where 
you know, these one people, Pinkertons, they lived in the house, they tore my fence up, you know, the, the gate off the fence, they tore that house totally up they was in, trash all, they throw trash on the other side, then they moved over to King, they tore that house out too, you know, and so if you're a property owner and you and you have to put up with I mean when they tear them up you they tear them up there goes the plumbing there goes everything they didn't pay rent you know um and their mentality is that it, that it helps them stay in property especially the type of thieves and they are cuz I know I was around billionaire <laughs> that thieves in New York but you know they didn't shit where they live I think that 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 settles a lot of well you know here you get whooped so you know, you not necessarily know what a million people. Now you can't say everybody got whooped, but a lot of it, I think, is you know, we have a, they have a. Anyway, it's terrible.